Okay, so now let's look at the light behind um, solar return and birthday. And why am I looking at that? Because it's become very popular, or perhaps it has been very popular that, you know, once somebody gets on the spiritual journey or they're studying astrology or something, and I'm being kind of naughty here, um, all of a sudden they've become the rebel and they want people to know they're on the spiritual journey. And they start saying, when it's your birthday, happy soul or return. <laughs> and while, you know, um, I, I feel the vibration of words, or at least I'm beginning to. And, and whenever somebody said happy soul or return, while I understand the sentiment was, was sincere in wishing me well, the energy of that word, the sincerity of their wishes wasn't carried. The word couldn't carry it or the using solar return because the energy or the light behind the words is not the same as happy birthday. And it wasn't landing with me. So I had to check out what is the difference between solar return and birthday. And I think you're going to like it. So let's Let's see what I'm talking about. All right. All right. So here we are. Solar return is someone is wishing you, first of all, the foundation of the word or the phrase solar return. Uh, I hope I'm still recording. I've just lost my picture. There we go. <laughs> okay. Um, the foundation of solar, the phrase solar return is the number five. And it's like the highest etherical uh light there is and you know when you say just the concept of happy solar return you're really speaking to an event in the skies you know and that's the five represents there's an etheric thing going on it hasn't yet manifested in the world it's an idea something is coming uh it, it's it's forming out in space and, and so it's an idea that's coming. It's a creative act that's coming, but it's really not about you. It's talking about an event, but of course, you know, the event of the solar return absolutely has the ability to transform consciousness, to wake up consciousness in you, to, uh, to do something in, in, within your consciousness, to upgrade your consciousness. And of course the success of that, um, or the outcome of that transit, if I'm using the right term, and the upgrade of your consciousness is that you create a whole new level of understanding from which you perceive the world. Okay, that's all well and beautiful, but that doesn't say like you personally, this is your day. No, happy birthday actually says it because the foundation of happy birthday, saying happy birthday to an individual is the number four. And the number four absolutely represents the individual's birth or manifestation into the world of form. It is uh, all about, you know, the soul entering into the Garden of Eden so that we can discover who we truly are. And the number four is all about when we discover who we are or are learning about ourselves, that we begin to shine and radiate our own prosperity and light to everyone else. So doesn't that feel so much better? If someone says happy solar return, that's not about you. It's about an event, but happy birthday. This is in celebration of your manifestation onto this planet and your journey into discovering who you are and the ability of someone of saying happy birthday or your birthday in general is that it's the, wow, it's the intense number. The number 14 is that it, it is you, this is a celebration and your birth puts you into the intense world of relationships <laughs> where this is all about you're going to be banging around life and you're going to everything you run into is going to be a mirror to try to to um, show you who you truly are good and bad 
Uh, and then, of course, the success of happy birthday or your birthday is that this is all about your spiritual awakening. This is the burning fire to burn away all that is the illusion so that you can wake up to what you truly are. So that is my two cents on happy birthdays. I really prefer to hear happy birthday and not solar return. What about you?